Hello and welcome STEM engineers. Today we are going to be building the tallest possible paper tower using only a single sheet of paper. Other supplies you're going to need are a pair of scissors and six inches of tape. Now what you're going to do is start off by thinking how can you build a tower using paper. We know paper is a rather weak material. So think of ways that you can shape your paper so that it could become stronger. I've got a couple ideas in mind from previous experiments I've done. I know that building cylinders is strong. I know that folding into triangular prisms makes the paper stronger. And I know folding the paper into rectangular prisms makes the paper stronger. So I'm gonna experiment with a couple of those different ideas and see what I can come up with. So I've started out by cutting my piece of paper the long way into four pieces. And my thinking behind that may be completely different than yours, but my thinking is that if I cut it into four pieces, they're all still big enough to fold into some shapes. And by cutting it the long way, I'm gonna use less tape than if I cut the paper the short way, because I would have had more pieces. So now I'm just faced with the idea of how am I gonna fold or roll this? I think I'm gonna try cylinders the first time because I know my paper bridge did the best with cylinders, but that may not be the best solution. So let's give it a try. I know I'm limited on tape. So I'm going to be very conservative in how I use my tape too. Ooh, it's tricky to fold into circles. In fact, I think this is more of an oval than anything else. And I'm just going to have a small piece of tape holding it at the top and holding it at the bottom. It's still going to be pretty open in the middle. And then I have to think about how the next piece is going to fit inside this one. I think I've got to roll it even tighter to get it to wedge into this one. And then the pressure of it unrolling seems to be holding it in place. So I'll tape my other end shut. And then just continue this pattern. Rolling the paper really tight trying not to fold it, but it's really hard. Sticking it inside this one and taping the other end. Now, I should mention this has to be freestanding. So I can't use any of my extra tape to tape it to the wall. Um, I can tape it to the surface of the table though, or the floor, just to make it so that it's standing up on its own. tall paper tower now. And I just have to find a way. Actually, I'm going to use my, my table here. It's kind of graded. And maybe that will help me allow it to stand instead of having to tape it. It doesn't stand straight up, but it is standing. We are going for height, though. You can see what I'm kind of doing down here, sticking it in the table. It's not really working though, so I've got another idea. But maybe I can cut it open and make kind of like legs that come out. Oops, I think I'm going to need four legs, not two. If I fold some legs out, maybe that will help it stand. I don't know, it's a puzzling one. I've never done this before with a class, but it looked like a good activity. So there. Now I did say that you could use some of your tape to tape it to the table, so I think that's what I'm going to do now. And there I have it. Now I just need to measure it and see how tall my tower was. The end result of my tower is that my tower is 37 inches tall. However, it is not freestanding yet, so I need to go back and try again. So I'm going to get another sheet of paper, some more tape, 
try something different and see if I can make this one work. I'm curious to see how you do at it too.